raining continuously today. When will this rain stop again? And there's this power shutdown. Finally, the power came. Mira. Where did I keep it? Hmm? Hey, Meera! Huh? She doesn't seem to be here. Where did she go? Where is she?
sir. Ah? By any chance did you see Meera? I don't know. I was just washing the clothes and when I came back to the room, Meera was not there. Try to call her. Mobile phone now. That is the problem. Phone is in the room only. Please go. Search everywhere. No. He is here only. Go check again. Okay then. I'll go check by myself. How many people is in online? <laughs> did Meera come to your room? No. Where did she go? I was washing the clothes and Meera was bathing. And when I came back, she was not in the room. And she's left her phone as well. I don't feel good about this. Can you come with me and check? Hmm. Okay. I'll be right back. Too much of you. Did Meera come here? No. What's the matter? When I came back after washing clothes, she was not there in the room. Mm. We don't know what happened to She's her. Can missing. you come and check? Ah, yes. Let's go search for her. Did you see Meera anywhere? No, she didn't come here. God, where the hell what did she go? What to do now, Pooja? Let's do one thing. We'll go to the security and ask him again. Maybe he knows ah, something. Come, okay. let's go. Sir, were you able to find Meera? I didn't see. You we just searched find her. all over the place, but we couldn't find her anywhere. Where is she? Can we go her? out and she... search for her? Come with me. We will find out. Hmm. Why should we waste time by thinking? We'll call Meera's husband and inform him. Whatever she told was right. Anyways, we should not be in trouble in future, right? Already the time is 10.30 now. Call him soon. After he comes here, let him decide what to do next step. Yeah, she's correct. Hello? Yeah, I am Sanjay speaking. Ah, tell me, Pooja. Didn't she inform you about where and whom she's gonna meet? Yeah, okay. I will come there. Without informing anything, where should I have gone? I think he went to her house. Bro, are you at home? Or in duty. I want to meet you very urgently. Yeah, right now. I want to go somewhere very urgently. I got a call from Meera's hostel. Meera is missing. It's already late 11 o'clock. Don't say that bro. We should start now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm at home. Okay bro.
Mira, my darling. <laughs> What's wrong? Only we are meeting twice in a week. Please do not upset me. Now what do you mean? Do you know what you are saying now? How are you saying that we can live with this income? We can't. Few days before, what are all the things you said to me? I didn't say anything wrong with you. I just worried about our life. Moreover, you are saying me to resign my job also. Please try to understand. Don't tension about it, because this job is more important. If you get a nice job, then I will resign my job. Okay? Now the time is 11:30. Where would they have gone at this time of the day? Hmm? Maybe to their friend's home? I don't know, bro. She don't have the type of friends. Pooja told me she didn't even take the phone along with her. I told her many times to resign the job, but she never listened. and she didn't take that seriously once i raised my hand on her for this issue why did you make her stay in the hostel she could have gone from home only na to reach the office she should travel around 1 and 1/2 hours bro so what i asked her to stay in hostel where is she working now garment store in city she is working as sales girl Who is she? This Pooja. Her roommate also working along with her. Do you come every week to meet Meera? No. She used to come to home Saturdays. Hmm. Today it rained heavily. It seems. Can't the car go until the hostel? We can reach soon by this way. This is Pooja. Please tell me what happened. It was almost seven o'clock when we reached our hostel after finishing all our works. And it started raining there. Take it, ma'am. Mm. Come. Mm. Hey, I'm getting wet. When I was in the umbrella, on that it's day it's raining. Muddy. <laughs> see how much I was wet. On that time itself, I told that we leave early. See now how much it's raining. You're talking as if I was just standing without working. Actually, I'm not blaming you. Just said that you're the reason for this. Stop teasing. <laughs>
Hello? I haven't received the cash yet. Ask them to come a little later, please. And yeah, I'll call a little later. It's raining heavily here. I'll call you a little later. Okay, bye. Wow, you are safe. Hmm? What happened? Why are you late today? It got late in our workplace, sir. Too much power problems here. Hmm. And also heavy lightning. Keep it with the emergency lights. Hmm. No, no, no. <laughs> they called me yesterday. Oh, yeah. We just reached and you want to barge inside the bathroom. Clothes are dirty. I'll just go wash them and dry them. And I got wet as ah, well. Ah, okay, okay. Why does it seem to be raining continuously today? I don't know when will this rain stop again and this power shut down as well. Hm. Finally, power came. Meera? Where did I keep it? Hmm? Hey, Meera! Hmm? She's not here. Where did she go? After that, 
I went and searched all the rooms. There is no way that she would have left out. After that, the security and all of us went and searched the whole of the hostel compound for her, but we couldn't find Meera. Uh, you said after washing clothes, you can't see Meera in the room. Did somebody from outside could have come to the room or something like that? The clock was moved and lying across the table, mm. and also Meera's phone was lying under the cot. Nothing else was found strange. Does Meera have friends outside? I mean, boyfriends? <gasps> Nothing. Nobody that I know of, sir. Before this, have they disappeared like this before? Without telling you? Never, sir. Has she called some unknown numbers? Or some incoming calls? No, bro. I didn't get any call like that. Where were you washing clothes? Mm -hmm. I want to see that place. Right upstairs. Come, I'll show you, sir. Mm -hmm. This way, sir. When you entered the room, Meera was bathing in the bathroom, yes, right? Yes, sir. After that, nobody saw Meera, right? No, sir. That means only you knew that Meera was bathing inside the bathroom. Nobody else. Exactly. This way, sir. How much time would you have taken to wash clothes here? Uh, maximum around half an hour, sir. At what time did you come to terrace? I think might be around 7.30, sir. So that means when Meera was alone in that half an hour, somebody could have come to the room, right? Hmm. You said when you were washing clothes, there was a current cut. At what time did it happen? When I came here and I was drying the clothes, I think that was when the power went down. It took around 10 to 15 minutes for me to wash my clothes. Do you know when the current came back? Almost somewhere around 10 minutes the power came back. Generally, who has the key for your room? It was mostly with Meera, but whenever she goes to her place, she used to give the keys to me and then leave. After coming to the hostel and before going to the room, you told me about two girls talking, right? Yeah, it was Veena and Rocky. Hmm, I need to meet those girls. Yeah, sure, sir. I want to ask you something. Only you guys have seen Meera for the last time. That means, when Pooja entered the room, Meera was bathing. She was able to hear only her voice. Mm -hmm. Only you guys have seen Meera entering the room. Is that right? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Can you tell me something about seeing Meera for the last time? Uh, it was raining heavily that day. Uh... She was passing by the corridor and that time me and my friend were talking happily. Pooja was talking to someone on the phone. Ah, uh, what was the time then? It must be 7 o'clock. We didn't notice her and we were talking. Meera opened the door and went to her room. After locking her door, we were talking to each other for like 10 minutes. We were having a chat for a long time. Before we could leave, Pooja also left to her room. In five minutes after Pooja left, we went to our room. Pooja who entered that room, did she went to wash clothes only after you guys left? Must be, sir. Because we didn't see Pooja leaving, sir. But I saw both of them talking. When I left to wash my clothes, I saw Veena walking in front. Rocky was in the same direction that I came. 
Pooja could be right. They must not have seen you. Do you want to say something? I think Veena and Pooja said the right thing, sir. At first, Meera has come room. After that, only Pooja arrived, sir. You know, like Veena said, we just chatted for a while, sir. After that, we all left, sir. Also, we don't know when Pooja had gone, sir. So, Meera, did she see you? We saw her, but only from long distance, sir. Pooja came out of the room before we had left that place, sir. Tell me, what's your name? Rashid. How long have you been working here? Uh, more than one year. Before sir. that? I was in supermarket. When does your duty commence? In the evening? Six o'clock. Last evening, that is at the last minute, what time did Pooja and Meera came to the hostel? After seven o'clock, sir. After seven o'clock. Can it be seven five? No, sir. Seven ten, seven fifteen. Was it raining heavily at that time? Yes, sir. Heavy rain. That time, too much power problems here, sir. I told her, keep emergency light. Don't they have generator here? No. Whom did you ask to get the emergency light? With Pooja. Will someone come from outside the hostel? I mean, boys or someone? Nobody come here in the night time. I don't know day time. Hmm. Last evening. That means, the time when Meera got disappeared. Or else, before that or after that? Did you see something strange in this hostel? I mean, uh, someone you've not seen before. No, sir. What were you doing when that girl entered the hostel? That time I went to the, behind the building. When it was raining, I went to patch water from the porch, put it in it. Wow, that came. What happened? Why are you late today? It got a bit late in the workplace, sir. Too much power problems here and also heavy uh. lightning. Keep it with you, emergency light. After that, it will be see at 8 p.m. Come looking for me again. Meera is not in the room. I will see her. I told them to search everywhere. Even though we searched for a long time, we couldn't find her. Hmm. You do one thing. You come and meet me at 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. Okay, sir. Hmm. Did she discuss about any problems because you are her bestie? Such problems or unwanted acquaintances, uh, I don't think Meera has any such. She always seemed happy. She doesn't have any enemies too. Never attends to any unwanted calls. In fact, I have never seen her use an FB page for that matter. Sanjay? It would not be good for us to stay here after this. You should come back tomorrow. I need to know some more stuff from here. Brother. Come. Sanjay, listen to what I am saying. Nothing would have happened to Meera. Both of us may have to come here again. In some time, sun will rise again. Brother, I think something bad happened to Meera. Nothing would have happened. Brother, she is the only one for me in the whole world. I can't live without her. Sanjay, don't keep on thinking about it. Nothing would have happened to Meera. We will find her. Shall we file a complaint in police? You keep some patience. If we don't get any evidence, then we will go to the police station and raise a complaint. After Pooja went to wash clothes and came back, in the 20 minutes only, Meera would have disappeared. At that time, there was no power in the hostel. Meera holds the key for that room. When Meera came here, 
Rocky and Veena was in the room. So in that, when Meera entered the room, there was nobody inside. Let's suppose there was someone inside the room. That person could not have been following Meera so correctly and entering. Because at that point of time, Rocky and Veena were near that room. And in the hostel corridor, there was Pooja. In that case, where would have Meera gone? so dull this stage will pass on this all happens in love marriages soon everything will get solved please speak something meera we are not doing anything wrong we both met and loved each other and we got married meera my dad my mother will understand but my dad won't i knew very well Your father likes you a lot. Same as all dads. They spend their whole life and they live for their children. Don't get confused. This will pass on. When you guys were talking about work, did you fight much and did some problem arise? Not that serious. As usual, we had a little fight. But I'm sure that that's not a big issue. Hmm. More than everything, the reason why she didn't resign the job is we urgently needed money very much. After that, did she agree to resign her job? Yes, brother. I need to take a look at this room. Can you guys go out please? Pooja, you can stay. Those are mine, sir.
this? Yes, that's mine. All those that are in the rack are mine, sir. What does your husband do? He's an LIC agent, sir. Sanjay? Please don't worry, Sanjay. It's just six months since we got married. But she's not with me now. Why are you thinking like this unnecessarily? Our Meera will be fine. How to believe? Then where Meera went? I have told her many times to quit the job, but she used to question me out around the family only with your salary. It's my mistake. I've been so lethargic. I didn't think about her future. Now the whole life is lost. Ah, ah, Sanjay. How many rooms are there? Around thirteen, fourteen rooms are there, sir. But only ten of them are occupied, sir. Sometimes few guests come and stay, sir. Is there no warden here? There is no warden as such, but a lady comes and goes. Hmm. Last evening when you came back from the cloth shop, did somebody else come along with you? Daily, me and Mira comes to this place along with our friends, sir. Even yesterday we came like that only. And I'm planning to buy some fruits. Do you want some? I don't know. Let me see. Maybe I'll buy oranges. Please put half kg oranges. Buy of one kg, no? This is enough for today. Maybe we can buy tomorrow. It's already late. If I come with you, I'll miss the bus. Shall I leave? She's Thank saying you. that she's leaving. Yeah, yeah. You leave early. Don't miss your bus. Let's meet tomorrow. Hmm. Hmm. Come, let's go. Auto, auto. Come on, get in. Bye. See you tomorrow. We have to go to the hostel nearby. Bye. Bye. Where do you work? I'm working in an IT company nearby. When did you start working? It's been only three months. Is there some tension between you, Meera, and Pooja? Uh, no, sir. We are not that close. We are friends since we are in the same hostel. That only. Hmm. So then, what about these two girls? Uh, sir, Meera is like a sister to Pooja. They seem to be like that. I think Meera is also like that only. Okay. But was there any problem between these two girls in these two years? Uh, mm, no, sir. Nothing happened like that. Hmm. These two girls, I mean, Meera and Pooja, what time do they come back? I can't guess it correctly. Maybe I think they'll be back by 5:30 p.m. Were they coming late at any point? Uh, mm, mm hmm. I'm not sure to say, sir. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Okay, sir. Hmm. What time did you come here yesterday? She came before 6 p.m., sir. Hmm. What about you and Meera? Are you guys good friends? They are very good friends, sir. 
when i asked meera for the first time do you know what she said pooja and meera used to fight a lot do you know what were the reasons for their fight i didn't see them having fights till now sir two days back when i was crossing the his room i heard some noise sir what did you ask that day what was the reason for their fight if you wish i can go to some other room like i heard sir beyond that i didn't hear anything sir actually how long does it take to come from city to the hostel hmm maximum it like 20 minutes sir from where all can you enter the hostel there is a small way there but no one uses that all garbage sir dumped there and it's nasty <laughs> you haven't answered my question yet What time did you start from the clothes shop yesterday? Usually we leave by five, sir. But due to overwork, we left yesterday by five thirty. I need to talk to Marina Jodi about something. Marina said she'll be here, and Jodi didn't pick the call. I'll call her again. Hmm. I need to see the back entrance. Okay, sir. Meera was a very nice person, sir. She never get any unwanted phone calls, or I've never seen her having any bad acquaintances. Hmm. You know that from last night, Mira is not seen anywhere. Everybody is vouching for her character, but then, where did she disappear? If not that, who could have kidnapped her? Could you know anything about that? Tell me. When was the last time you saw Mira? No, sir. Even yesterday, we were laughing about our conversations, and we were very happy. In fact. Mira is not somebody who gets suddenly upset about anything. What time did you start from the clothes shop yesterday? Usually we leave by five o'clock, but yesterday it was a bit crowded, so we came out about five thirty. Hmm. Did you go elsewhere after that? Near a bus stop on our way back to buy fruits, Pooja stopped near a stall. Since it became very late, Jyoti left early since she will not get any bus. We walked a little further from the fruit stall. They stopped in auto and Meera and Pooja got inside and left. How long did you take to leave after Meera and Pooja left? Almost around 10-15 minutes even my bus came and I left. Do you board the bus from the stand? Uh no. I need not go till the bus stop. Uh we mentioned a fruit stall, right? Uh the bus stop is just 5 minutes walk away from there. From the fruit shop you just mentioned, how long it takes to go to the bus stand? Around 10-15 minutes would do, sir. Jodi will get the bus only from the bus stand. That's right. Yesterday, what time did you reach home? I mean, do you remember that time? Um, around 6:15, sir. Answer my last question. How do you know about Mira's disappearance? Pooja was the one who told me. When? Last night or this morning? This morning. Okay. Thank you. You can go now. Mm, okay, sir. Hmm. Now there is nothing to think about. Let's give a complaint in the station. I'll call them. Let them also investigate about this. Brother, really I'm so scared. Why you Why are you scared about this so much? We will find out. How much is Meera earning now? Eight thousand rupees. Hmm. Ah, sir, that girl has come. Her name Jules now. Ah, ask them to come. Hmm. Ah, another thing. Can you go along with him to the police station? Okay, sir. Come. Hmm. Jyoti. For how many years are you working in this clothes shop? Almost one year, sir. All four of you work in the same department? Yes, sir. All four of us are sales girls, sir. It's been how long that you know Meera? Around the same time, all four of us joined the work, sir. Actually, just a matter of days, sir. 
so you know her very well for the past one year. Yeah. Hmm. Jodi, are you married? No. Last evening, when did you start from the shop? Five thirty. Did all of you left together? Yes. When you were talking to Pooja in the fruit shop, you said you will not get the bus if you get late, and you immediately left. That's right, sir. Marina also told me you won't be able to catch the bus if you get late. What time do you need to be there to catch the bus? Six ten, sir. If I miss that, next it's six fifty, sir. In the fruit shop, when you check time, then only you knew that you will miss the bus. Yes. What would the time be then? Five fifty. How long does it take to reach the bus stand from the fruit shop? Maximum fifteen minutes. What work does Marina and Pooja's husband do? Do you know that? Marina's husband has a tiles business, sir, and Pooja's husband is an insurance agent. Then okay. Thank you, Jodi. We'll meet again. Mm, I'll leave, sir. You can go now. Mm. As I received the complaint, I would have come and meet you. But from the beginning, you are dealing with this case. I hope very soon there will be a good result for this case. Maybe there's a chance for that too. When I investigated everybody, I got to know about something. That Meera doesn't have a bad company or any habits that can be called bad. I can even say that there is no possibility of a rape here, because. This lady's hostel is actually very far fetched from the city. So a person who has planned it well and know everything about the hostel can only enter there. Mm. So there's a chance of a murder or a kidnap. People in the hostel can also do it very well. Only if we inquire four or five people, we'll be able to know this better, and our investigation can be carried out in a better way. What is your name, Sir Satyan? Your answers for my question should be same as your name. You should tell only the truth. Ah. Uh. Approximately, what would be the time you have leave them in the hostel, Sir? Around like seven o'clock. How many people were there in the auto? Two people, Sir. Maximum, how much time does it take from the city to come to this lady's hostel? Tell me. Ah. Uh. It will take around twenty minutes, sir. What time did they get into the auto? Six uh, thirty, sir. Six thirty. How can you tell the exact time? Once before this, I've dropped them in hostel, so I knew that very well, sir. Where do you park your auto? Nearby to the garment store, sir. Is there the auto stand? Yes, sir. Did they get into the auto from the stand yesterday? Ah, uh, no, sir. I was returning after a trip. On the way, they requested me, sir. From where? Sir, in front of Hotel International. From where? In front of the Hotel International, sir. You said the time of them getting into the auto was six thirty, right? Yes, around like six thirty, sir. Because the time is seven when I dropped them at hostel, sir. Is there a fruit shop or any other small shop in front of Hotel International? No, no, sir. <laughs> How can you say so exactly? Can I know about it, sir? I'm traveling on the same route for the past six years. I knew all the address and the routes very well, sir. You said your auto stand is very near to the clothes shop. Yes, sir. Is there any other shop in front of the clothes shop, like some fruit shop? Yeah, yes, sir. There's a shop. How far this hotel international be from the clothes shop? Around like five hundred to six hundred meters, sir. How long will it take by walking? Fifteen minutes, sir. Is the bus stand near to Hotel International? No, sir. From bus stand to reach the garment store, we should go straight from the Hotel International, sir. That day they got into your auto in front of Hotel International. How many people were there? Two or three? There was only one, sir. Just one? Yes, sir. Only one. Okay, where did you pick up the second person, sir? I picked up the second one from there only, but 
only one requested for the auto sir after some time a person came from the hotel international sir i don't have any clue about this case where must it goes to salaman i think i have got the evidence meera will not come back i mean she is not alive i can't understand yes she has been murdered that is the truth who who is a murderer there can't be a suspicion that pooja would have murdered meera even if that's the case she couldn't have done it alone if she would have killed her then she couldn't have taken the dead body alone from that place somebody must have helped pooja i could not understand anything solomon hmm. all the evidences are here just one person needs to be investigated after that it will be easier for us to understand who helped pooja in this we need to do that next i'll make you understand everything before that i need a cup of tea do you need <laughs> no thanks <laughs> i'll go and have hmm. one it is a murder why do you think in meera's murder pooja could be a culprit in this case when we investigated people who knew meera pooja merina jyoti and then the auto driver when we questioned all of them with their answers we get to know that pooja has a huge role in this hmm. the first thing in this is after meera entered the room around in 10 minutes pooja also has entered the room at that point of time there were two another girls near this room i questioned these two girls as well but when i asked pooja she said she was in the terrace to wash clothes but these two girls have not seen this hmm not just that these two girls who were there have seen meera entering into the room with their own eyes but the thing is nobody has seen meera coming out of the room now the point that we have to take into consideration is after meera and pooja entered there could be something that have happened in between them there could be a fight that could have happened between them hmm. point number 2 pooja told me that she went from the clothes shop directly to the fruit shop at that point of time jyoti said she may miss the bus and she left from there taking jyoti's statement into consideration the time then was 5:30 after jyoti left from there they walked from the fruit shop for some time and then took a auto to back home pooja and merina told me that they came directly to the hostel not just that after pooja and merina left only after 10 minutes merina got the bus that she was supposed to board that means the time when she boarded the bus was 6:10 or 6:15 so the time when pooja and merina took the auto if what merina and pooja told me was correct Six o'clock, mm. or else six five, max six ten. After they took the auto, maximum, it should have taken them half an hour for them to reach the hostel. That means by six thirty they should have come back to the hostel. In that case, the security also coincidentally told me the time when Pooja came back to the hostel was seven fifteen. If you take ten minutes to come from the road to the hostel. they must have come to the road adjacent to the hostel at 7 pm the third point here is the reasons given by jyoti and the auto driver at 6:10 they felt that they will miss the bus and they left from that place i mean jyoti left from there if i consider what merina and pooja told me it seems correct only both of them getting into the auto jyoti has not seen that jyoti's character exits from there what that auto guy says is He must have dropped them in the hostel at 7 p.m. That's what he says. It takes 15 to 20 minutes from the town to come back to the hostel if we take into consideration. Only at 6:30 the auto guy has picked them up. The question that arises from this is: Jyoti started from there at 5:50. The auto guy picked them up at 6:30. During this time, I mean between 5:50 and 6:30, around for 30 minutes, where would have Meera and Pooja gone, or must have spent their time? Only in order to confuse us, Pooja could have given us a wrong time. She could have said that she has reached the hostel by 6:30. Roshan, you are wrong. I am saying this because at 7 when they came back to the hostel, the security has seen them. Oh, that's also true. Point number four. 
Why do they have to go to Hotel International? What was the need? By any chance, Pooja must have gone to Hotel International to meet somebody. In that case, why did Meera have to go to that hotel? That auto person already told that only one girl stood outside the hotel. I take that. Let's assume that Meera and Pooja went to the hotel together. Meera did not enter the hotel. If my calculations are right, in between these two people who committed the crime is Meerina. I mean, when Meerina was waiting for the bus, they have not gotten into the auto. Pooja and Meera would have walked to Hotel International. Meerina knew about it. My thoughts on this is, when Meerina called Pooja to tell about Meera's disappearance. Before Marina left, they have taken the auto and left for hostel. That information should have been told to Marina. I don't know exactly what to say, but to distract our attention, Marina must have helped Pooja in this. Marina is lying in this. What is it that Marina is hiding for Pooja? What you are saying is right. That's what I am searching for. Whatever it is. If we get yesterday's call details of Pooja, we will get to know very clearly why both of them went to Hotel International. Since Jyoti left from there earlier, Pooja must not have told to lie to Jyoti. But instead, Marina knows that both of them have gone to Hotel International. Mm. Now we have to search for things that's outside the case. I assume those things will also help us in this. The point is, Meera's salary is only eight thousand. In the same department, with the same experience, Pooja will not be able to get more salary than her. <laughs> but the dress that Pooja is wearing, her mobile, laptop, jewelry, everything is expensive. She is using a mobile phone that's thirty thousand rupees. I don't think Pooja's husband, who's an LIC agent, will be earning that much to afford this. She has a lot of cash in hand, luxurious lifestyle. What kind of work is she doing then? Hotel International is a four-star great business hotel. Even the room rent per day is eight thousand rupees. <laughs> I understood one thing. Pooja has not gone there to meet any ordinary person. Meera is like a sister to Pooja. They seem to be like that. I think Meera is also like that only. I didn't see them having fights till now, sir. Two days back, when I was crossing the his room, I heard some noise, sir. If you wish, I can go to some other room, like I heard, sir. Beyond that, I didn't hear anything, sir. We walked a little further from the fruit stall. They stopped in auto, and Meera and Pooja got inside and left. Six ten, sir. If I miss them, next it's six fifty, sir. In front of the hotel international, sir. There was only one, sir.
What happened? Did you verify what I told you? Please have a seat. Did something happen that we expected? Yes, sir. On that particular day, Pooja received three calls from her husband. Two calls from her mother. Pooja also called to her husband from here. Not only that, morning 10 o'clock, evening 5 o'clock, also calls at 5.55 p.m. also we have noted. All the three from the same number. To the same number, Pooja made a call from here by 2 p.m. Did you find out whose number it was? Yes, we have found it. That call is to Mr. Clement. Full name, Emerson Clement. He is just 21 years old, engineering student. So the things have been moving as I expected. Solomon, surprise is not only that. Exactly by 6.35 p.m., Meera called Pooja. What it means, Meera was not with the Pooja in that particular time. That's what, that's what is right. If we look at that, whatever the auto driver said is the truth. Meera was waiting in front of the hotel. Since the time was more than 6.35, there are chances that she could have called Pooja. Hmm. Did you get the complete details of that boy? Okay. Hello? Ah. Why? I'm actually a little bit far away. What? What's the matter? Yeah, okay. I'm coming. I'll be there. Did this guy give any trouble to you? No, sir. How did you caught him? Asked his girlfriend to call him. Hmm. He can go now. Yes, we have. What is your name? Clement. Emerson Clement. <laughs> I think you are a James Bond fan. Emerson Clement. Don't be afraid. I just called you to understand about some things. My name is Solomon. I'm the CI. He is my friend. Last 27th, I mean a couple of days back, did you book a room in Hotel International? Uh, yeah, I took it. Who all was there with you? Yeah, my friends are with me. They are too. Sometimes we'll book a room like that. <laughs> what time did you check out that day? Uh, I think uh, evening 4 o'clock. And after that? After that, friends went to their home and I came to my home. <laughs> what does your father do? Uh, business. What business? Uh, jewelry business. You mean jewelry? Hmm, that's it. How many branches are there? Uh, Twelve branches. Where all? Uh, mostly all over. That day when all your friends checked out and left the room, you came back to meet someone in the room. Who was that? No! I didn't go back! Why, why are you asking this much questions? <laughs> I think you don't know who I am properly. <laughs> Look at me, bro. I don't have any kind of personal grudges against you. There's a chance that you may lie. We've not got you here to hit you or torture you. That's not my style. But if you think of lying and escaping the situation, we have all the evidences. If I let you go from here, police will surely come after you. Uh, no, sir. I didn't go back. <laughs> Roshan, give me that paper. This is your list of 
incoming and outgoing calls for 27th that day in the morning exactly at 10 o'clock you've called a girl named pooja at 2 in the afternoon pooja has also called you again at 5 o'clock you've called her again at 5:45 she called you <laughs> not just that the day before yesterday at around 10:45 pm you've called hotel international and booked room for yourself that evening at around 6 pm to meet you pooja has inquired about your room number at hotel international that's been told to me by the staff i have several evidences like this but before that i want to ask you something openly what is the relationship between you and pooja why did both of you together kill that girl miserably All the jewelry that Pooja uses has the mark of your jewelry shop. <laughs> Why are you crying? I will not punish you by any means. Tell me the truth. Actually, first when I saw her, uh, it was in a textile shop, sir. Who? Oh. Pooja. How many days back? Six to seven months before. When I first saw her, I had some feelings about her. I also felt like she likes me very much. Yeah, okay bye ha okay bye actually to see her i'll always go there at once the band which i have chosen pooja wrote her number in the tag from that our relation became very strong After that, she got to know that I'm from a rich family. Then she started to ask some money for me, and I also gave her so much money, sir. As you said, after that I gave her so many ornaments continuously, sir. Then and there, every time, she used to ask so much money, sir, that I can't even imagine. But once she actually asked me one lakh, and she never got away. When I asked her why you want one lakh, she told that she wanted diamond necklace, sir. But I thought. She will never ask again but she never stopped but I never gave her but one month before she actually asked me for 10 lakhs but I never can't give that much amount sir but she continued torturing me but the thing is I can't say no to Pooja because her bonding became that much strong sir no matter how she tortured me but I keep on calling her sir because my love became that much stronger with her But once she was blackmailing me, I told her strong that I can't give that much amount. I even shouted at her. From that she has changed. But after that, once I called Pooja and told her to come to hotel Shishor. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> 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 First go uh, and take uh, bath. No. Go. First go get inside. She go. She cheated me. <laughs> take bath Without first go. Knowledge, she shooted out relationship with her mobile phone because of money. She cheated me very much. But I got to catch her.
After that, she continuously started blackmailing me. One day, me and Pooja are traveling in a car. Hey, why did you reduce the volume? What about the money that I asked? Uh, Pooja, what is this nonsense? I don't have that much amount. You're asking me 10 lakhs. I gave you all the cash which I'm having. So, I'm not important for you. My money is important, right? Hmm. If you think, you can get not only 10 lakhs but 10 crores. Are you mad? How many times do I have to tell you I don't have a cash on me? What did you say? I am senseless. If you're not going to give the cash that I asked, I'm going to kill you. Idiot. Hey, come out. I'm going to show you a video. Take your phone and switch on the Bluetooth. Can't you do as I say? Don't play like this. Can you delete that please? This is not at all right, Pooja. For the past one month, I've been asking you the money very respectfully. But you keep saying you don't have money. When are you planning to give me the money? I'll give you, Pooja. For sure I'll give you. At least I'll take a loan from my friends and give it to you. But delete that please. The very moment you give me the cash, I'll hand over this phone to you. You can delete it by yourself. Until then, this is going to be with me. It'll remain a secret with me. Please, Pooja. Don't send that clip to anyone. I won't. But remember, if you are ever planning to cheat me, I am definitely not worried about me. My husband knows how I am. The whole world knows. Money. Money is all that he needs. Now tell me, when are you planning to give me the cash? I'll give you. For sure I'll give you. But I need some more time. Mm -hmm. Very good. Finally, I want to tell you something. If only I don't get the cash that I asked, I'm going to kill you. All the pawn sites will have your video. Son of jewellery owner Clement will be the title. Just decide yourself if you want all of this. Hmm. Pooja! That's it. From that time we are talking through phone. After that I saw her. As I said two days before in Hotel International. The amount she asked me, I told that I'll give her for sure when she come to meet me. But she said after completing her duty, she will come to me. When she will come there? After six sir, when she come to my room, she started to ask about the money. It's a calculated risk he takes. When he plays that, he's done it again. This time it's gone all the way. Up go the arms of Peter Parker. Yes, come in. Uh. <laughs> I knew it well. 10 lakhs is not a big deal for you. My husband keeps telling every now and then that he needs a car. Definitely the car should be a high end, right? Hand me the cash soon. I'll definitely come and meet you again. I'm not alone. My friends are waiting for me. I have to leave soon. What happened? Why are you looking dull now? What happened? The thing is, I don't have a cash. The person who I asked doesn't have it. <laughs> ah! <sighs> Haven't I told you never ever cheat me? I'm not going to believe you again. Ever again. See what I'm going to do. Meera? Call an auto. I'll be there in few minutes. Hey, Pooja! Stop here! Just listen to me! Get in! Okay, sir. Tell me what happened after that. After that, I started to request her to delete all those videos. But after that, 
I came out of that hotel and started to follow her. And the night is also started. I had a rain too. Before that, I went to that place so many times. That's why I remember everything. But I'm returning with my bike. I thought that to get rid of this problem, I have to kill her. That's what my heart says too. After speech, I thought that after giving the 10 lakhs too, she won't leave me. Then I took a decision. If I kill her, it will be the end. Hello? Yes, okay. I'll call you a bit later. It's raining heavily here. Yeah, I'll definitely call you.
it's unfortunate sir i didn't kill mira wantedly because of power cut i didn't recognize it's in mira i saw pooja going in the room sir her sari umbrella bag everything is there sir i even saw her jewelry not even those pooja bought a fruit that white cover everything is there sir that too when i saw her sir but really i don't know suddenly where she went i thought that pooja is only the one who is bathing in the bathroom but when the power is back then only i got to know who the person is exactly but she is already dead where is mira where where you hide mira till now we could not find the body of the mira even now we could not find it what do you do with that body as no one has to find i shifted the body to another place i threw the dead body to the next compound where the unused water is kept sir that's true sir how did you find that water tank sir sometimes i used to go to hostel to meet pooja sir so i know all the surroundings over there sir roshan we need to go immediately to the hostel after we leave after some time arrange for him to be there hmm okay Where is the water tank behind? Here, just behind that. Please come and show me. Come, sir. Where is Pooja? She is here. I will call her. Sir, why did you want to see me? Why do you need the ten lakh rupees for? You are a very lucky girl. Your time was good, and you got saved. And against that. One innocent girl lost her life. Sir, Meera. Meera. Meera has been murdered. You don't want to know who killed her, Clement. Emerson Clement. He came there to kill you because of the power cut. He got mistaken. Clement told me about everything. Now he is in the police custody. About you recording him in the mobile, about everything. Clement told the police in detail. They are bringing him here for evidence. Why are you crying without any reason? You asked for that 10 lakhs to buy a new car. He told me. Is that right or not? Yeah. Does your husband know of this relationship? Yeah, he knows everything. All that he need is just money. And he never questions anything. Huh. What kind of people live in this world? Leave that. But why did you ask Marina to lie for you? I never knew that Meera was killed, sir. But when Meera went missing and all of you were searching, I still had a doubt whether all the other people knew the relationship between me and Clement. Does Marina know of your relationship? Mithun and Meera knew it, but they didn't know that I was asking money from him. <laughs> you tried to be over smart. being intelligent for wrong reasons sir huh? where is that that way sir
विच प्लेस यू हाइड द बॉडी टेल सर दैट्स वन I took to this case unexpectedly. Sanjay is a very close friend to me. He asked my wife is missing. Can you just come along with me? But not even in my dreams I thought it will end up like this. Who must have thought such a bad incident will happen in his life? Where are you going now from here? They have approached me to investigate another murder case. The victim there is a nun. A midnight murder. Anyway, thanks for your Solomon. Only good things will happen to you. Ian Solomon involved in this case. I just stood as a stranger in this case. <laughs> yeah. One more thing. The jewels that I took from the hostel in between there was Pooja's mobile phone. <laughs> you don't need to check that mobile phone. She has already deleted that video. <laughs> <laughs>